now that we've seen the different types of tests, I'm going to explain how to export or migrate each type of test. Now the first type of test, the simple with the quizzes and you want it to migrate to new quizzes as it is, is very easy. All you do is select the little buttons at the end and select migrate. And once you have selected that, it makes a duplicate as a new quiz. Now in this case I have migrated the chapter 2 quiz right here. I selected migrate and it created a new quiz right here and I can tell that by the rocket ship. If it's a legacy or classic quiz it's going to have the empty rocket ship and the new quizzes has the filled in rocket ship. So this is a new quiz and whenever you create a new quiz it's a good idea to edit that name to include something that identifies it as a new quiz. In this case I am just putting NQ at the end of it and I'm going to save and publish it. Now the reason I'm doing that is that when I'm adding it to a module I want to be able to identify that it's one of the new quizzes and not the legacy quiz. Um, you notice that once you go into edit you end up here in new quizzes and your menu disappears. So to get out of new quizzes you need to back out by hitting the back button on your uh, browser window. Okay now we're in a place where I have the menu on the left and I also have the breadcrumb at the top. So I'm going to go back to new quizzes and so that one is very easy to migrate. All you have to do is select the option menu at the end and select migrate. You, the next two types, the ones where you want to create question banks either from a linked test bank or from a group of questions, you had to create a quiz for each test bank you want to create in new quizzes. So we need to export each of those quizzes as a QTI file and then put them into the new quizzes item bank. So the first step is this is the one, the test that was formerly a linked test bank. I deleted the linked test bank and added all the questions to the test. Now I need to export this to create a QTI file. To export it I go to settings, export, and here the export type is going to be quiz. Now you can only do one export at a time because you want to create an individual QTI file for each of these. So I'm going to select the one I want to export. I'm going to create the export and when it's finished exporting there'll be this link right here to download it. And here is where I need to make sure that I name it appropriately. I name all my soon to be test banks or item banks in new quizzes. I name them with the name of the course and the chapter of the test bank. And then I also add NQ just for good measure so I know what it's for. I'm going to put that on my desktop for now. And once it is done migrating or exporting, now I have a QTI file for that. Now you do it the same way with the groups of questions. I'm going to come back here to settings so I can get to the export area again. And I'm going to select quiz as the item type all quizzes. Now remember in my groups of questions I put them all in one test but if you created a separate test for each group so that you would have multiple test banks or item banks in new quizzes then you'll have to do this more than once. So I'm going to select the question group test that I created, create the export and this one's probably going to take a little bit and now I have that, I'm going to rename it because when you do an export of a quiz it always names it the name of the course so it's always the same. So you want to put the correct course ID on it 
the chapter and this can be very simple just CH4 and then new quizzes identification so I'm going to save that now we can create our new quizzes in the same course we just have to export and import from that course so I'm coming back to the course homepage once you have exported the new quiz files you're going to need to import them into a test bank the only way to access the new quizzes item bank or test bank is to go through a new quiz now we have in our courses a orientation quiz and so we always migrate that quiz first so we have access to the new quizzes remember you need to do your migrations in the quizzes area of your course and you go to the orientation quiz or um, a simple quiz and migrate it so that you have a new quizzes access point so I'm going to go to create a test bank by going into a new quiz and you notice there's item bank here but that's not where we want to go we want to go up here in the top right corner which you can't see um, and there's a option menu and a drop down that says manage item banks now the item banks and new quizzes are actually tied to the person not the course so when you create an item bank you will see it in every course that you access the item banks in this also means that other people are not able to see your test banks or your item banks to create a new test bank so that you can link to a test bank in the new quizzes you need to create a bank and I'm gonna say HE 202 chapter 3 and this may not even be important because I believe it changes the name when you import so I'm gonna go ahead and create a bank and then there's my bank right there I'm gonna go into it and up here in the top right corner once again you can't see it but the option menu there is import content and here is where I'm going to I can either drag and drop that QTI file I just created or I can browse for it I'm gonna to go to my chapter 3 import it and and when it's done importing you'll see that it says done at the bottom you select done and it will take you into the test bank now to get back to the item banks bring this window down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing to get down to the item banks you can either select the breadcrumb item bank or select return I in this case I select item banks and then I select return because whenever you're in new quizzes you kinda have to back out of them now the next thing is there's another return so I'm gonna get back out of here alright so I have my new quizzes item bank for the chapter 3 I also need to make one for the chapter 4 so I'm going to walk you through that again remember you have to go into new quizzes before you can get to the item banks and then in the top right corner there's the manage item banks and you're going to create a new item bank and this one's going to be course name chapter new quizzes um, you always want to have the course name because as you see if you teach more than one course each one is going to have a different item bank so make sure you identify where that item bank belongs I'm gonna go into the the new item bank I'm going to select import content and I'm going to get that QTI file that I just created and I'm going to import it takes it a minute or two to get the content if there's a lot of questions but once it's done importing you'll see the word done here and you'll see the item bank behind it 
All right, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to create a test with these new item banks. Thank you.